Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. We're in Victoria, Australia, and today we are going fishing for bluefin tuna. Whoa! That was the closest dolphin I've ever seen. And after we go fishing, then we'll be having a barbecue on the beach. It's gonna be an incredible day. I'm gonna share it all with you right now. Good morning, hey everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Ween. So happy to be in Melbourne, Australia. It's a cold, but it's a beautiful morning. And today is going to be a very big day. We're going fishing for bluefin tuna. But if you look at a map, we're right in the center of downtown Melbourne. Melbourne sits at the top of this giant bay and the bay feeds through this small inlet of water at a place, there's a town there called Sorrento. And so we need to get down to Sorrento and that's where we're gonna take the boat into the open sea to go fishing for bluefin tuna. But in order to get from Melbourne to Sorrento, it's about an hour and a half drive, but we decided we're gonna take the most express, the fastest way to get there. Micah. Are you excited? Micah was so excited this morning, he woke up at 6 a.m. and started singing. <laughs> We're on our way. All oh, weather is looking good. It's a beautiful morning in Melbourne. Look at that sky. Oh, it's gonna be an amazing day. Here we go. Here we go, shotgun. Micah, are you ready? ready? Yes. Fishing? Tuna. Ah, Luffy tuna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Ready for the fishing? Yes. Cannot wait. Ready for fishing? <laughs> yes. This is a shot night drinking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, nice to meet you. Mark. Mark. Oh. Nice to meet you, Mark. You're Mark also? Martin. Martin. Okay, Martin. Okay. So many of us, we're going in two boats. They're going off on that boat, and we're in a Oh yes, relaxing boat. <laughs> yes. <Double me>. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful <laughs> wooden boat. <laughs> wooden boat, yeah, wooden yeah. boat. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. All made out of hand. Oh, oh cool. Wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, beautiful years. boat. Yeah. Beautiful boat. Thanks. Dad. Where are we heading from here? So we head down towards Portsea, and then through the entrance there. And that takes you out to the to the open sea. To the open sea. Okay. And it drops, right. drops down to about maybe 100 meters at one point. Ah, oh, wow. So when you were in Mar Melbourne, the Yarra River. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a continuation, like thousands of years ago, when the water levels were much lower. It's wow. actually a continuation of that river that flows out into the bay here. And that's that's especially in the deeper waters is where you find the the bluefin. Uh, they're, they're potentially there, but they're a bit more difficult to catch. Okay. There. Okay. So, yeah. We'll be fishing a bit further out in the ocean, which is actually shallower. How long have you been fishing these all areas life. all your life? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are in very good hands today. Some of the most experienced fishers in the area. They got the rods and reels ready to go. 
and we're heading out to the open sea. Air is just unbelievably crisp and fresh. Water is so clear, so clean. And the forecast for today should be really nice. Clear weather, hopefully sunny, and also hopefully low wind. Yeah, yeah. Some of the roughest stretches of the water in the world through here. On a bad day, we've got a nice day. Some so of the most dangerous very lucky. waters in the world. Absolutely. But we are in good hands, we're Captain. In good hands. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> Captain Martin is Captain Martin taking us navigating we'll the, the waters. Through. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and the the reason it's such a strange current in water is because this bay is so huge, and then the water is kind of like passing in and out depending on the tides passing through right. the ocean. And the opening so narrow, so massive so narrow. bay with narrow openings. It's narrow opening. That's what this is, is the yeah. only opening in the whole bay. So, yeah, all, yeah. Like, so, uh, so there's a massive amounts of water coming in and out on change of tide. Wow. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. But today we've got a very calm day. That's great. Here we go, we're passing through the straits now. You definitely feel the swells getting bigger as we pass through this this street. I only really got through like 20 girls. I got 20 Mark. girls at Cheers. Cheers, Mark. Cheers. The tuna Cheers. 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 So we're looking for the bluefin tuna. Um, so we're in the ocean now. So we're looking out for birds circling above. Um, so the birds are following the tuna because they're eating the bait fish, the same food source. So they'll hopefully be diving down and we might even see a few tuna jumping out, which would be pretty cool. Oh, okay. yeah. Work out from how high they are off the water, how deep the fish are. So if the birds are actually diving in, it means the fish are just there. But if the birds are circling a kilometer up, it means the fish are, are quite deep in the water. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. Keep an eye out. Constantly be looking out for when you're, you're fishing or the birds. The birds will lead you to the fish. Oh yeah. So peaceful, so calm when we stop. And the water is spectacular, so clear, clean. Beautiful. Anchovies, oh, small okay. sardines, which are oh, quite so small. You, you set the lure for what they're feeding on at the moment. Yeah, okay. you, we call it, you try and match the hatch. Ah, okay, okay. So, okay, it's a bit fatter, but the length is about the same size as the fish that they're eating. Okay. And they may be a bit smaller, the bait fish, but any smaller lure, it's quite, a little bit more difficult to cast. All right, That's all right. why I'm using such light gear. Oh, okay, okay. So what I'm just, we call it blind casting. So I haven't seen any fish jump out, but I know they're in the area. So they could come up under my lure, but I'm just going to keep casting while I'm looking around. Because they move so quickly. They could be here and then they'll go down and then they could pop up over here. But sometimes it's better just to be patient and then we'll hang out. I'll do a few casts. I'll see if I can see them jumping up, and if they don't come up in like five minutes, we'll we'll keep continuing on. All right. So then we'll keep going. They're quite. Um, Sometimes it depends quite a bit on the tides as well. Um, are we cool here? Yeah, we're cool. Okay. Yeah, we are, we are definitely getting closer. Birds diving, seeing some of the tuna jump. We are in the right area. They are in these waters. But really it's a it's a search, it's a hunt to find the location. That's what it fishing is about. There it is. Exciting. <laughs> Tents. We are in the area for sure. You can see the birds, that's what we've been looking for. Theo is just casting the rod. We're in the game. 
We're in the game. We're in the game. We're in the hunt. Yes. Uh, coming down the back. Get yeah, ready. Okay. It's going to be your fish. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Get ready, Mark. You can get it. You can come in. And okay. we'll just get rid of this. Get rid of this. Yeah. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. <laughs> All right. So just put that under your arm. Oh, just put oh, it under your arm. Okay. And just relax. All right. Yeah, yeah. And then. <laughs> one. One. That's it. So, so one, one, one. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. That's it. And hold it there. Oh. Oh. And pull up. Oh, that's a lot of tension. That's it. We want to keep as much constant pressure on the fish as possible. Nice on it. Well done, Thank you. Yeah. Hey, hey, Theo, well done. Good bro. job, Clara. You're going to get one. That's it. Wind, 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 wind. And then lift up. And if he wants to really run and pull, come close to the edge and we just put the rod tip in the water. Point that rod tip. Let that go. Let that go. Let that go. Let that go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's right. Can oh. I do anything? No. <laughs> Not much you can do. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is I reckon we're going to come back to the corner of the boat. So stand up. I might get you guys just to shuffle out. Let him do it, Mark. Let him do it, Mark. Let him All right. So come out the back. Go. Nice and smooth and wind down. Lift up. Beautiful. And then wind down. That's it. Lift up. Beautiful. And wind down. As you're winding, point the rod tip down to the water. Yeah, boy! The silver one. Hold in there. That may go for a little. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Fresh tuna. Yeah. Fresh, tuna. Yeah. Fresh tuna. Fresh tuna. Wow. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Thank you, Theo. Okay. Oh, man. That is way harder than it looks. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Two that is strenuous. Oh, and this is just a, a small one. Awesome. Beautiful. And that is, yes. There go. So would this be considered the smaller size? Yeah, these are the little smaller jelly Johnsons. beans. Okay. I think we call them a jelly bean. A jelly bean. Jelly beans. <laughs> jelly beans. But um, they've got a really good fat content in them. So the flesh is, the taste is actually super good. So I'm just waiting for a knife so I can dispatch him just there. That's where his, his brain is. So we just put a quick knife in there. He's still alive. And then I'll poke him either side of the there fins here to take all the blood out and he'll be ready for sashimi this evening. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well done, Theo. Well done. Yeah, Well done, Mark. Well, well done. Well done, you guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sharks. Sharks can come. Yeah. Uh, Possibly. Fill the whole gut cavity up with ice so it cools okay. down. And to be honest, the best sashimi is waiting for like a couple Great. of days. Okay. So you think of it as like red meat. No, yeah. It needs to settle, but once he's cool, I reckon we get back yeah, 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 yeah. and we, we should definitely rip, try, rip yeah. some fillets off. <laughs> for sure. But we should try and get another one, right? For sure. There's a small one, but very tasty. Next. Uh, Next is the bigger, bigger, bigger one. So what is the what Next. is the bag? Or that just keeps it cold. Take a bottle cap in there. Perfect. For good measure. <laughs> Mission successful. Yes. Oh, I mean, you guys did all the hard work. Wow, well, took a Reeled while. it in and then just, oh, that final stage of reeling it in. I get it. It's such an adrenaline rush. It's so much, it's such a calm before just all out action. From here, we're probably gonna start making our way back to Sorrento. Maybe do some more fishing if we see any hopeful spots along the way, but we're pretty happy. Uh, back to the house to eat, to have a barbecue, to definitely taste the fish. Oh man, what a day. Yes. Yes. So good. So good. <laughs> Yes. It's so good. Yes. God, yes. So good. It's yes. so good. So good. It's so good. So good. <laughs> <laughs>
They're called the Burnin Dolphin and they're actually endemic to the bay. So there's no other place oh, in the world you'll find these guys. Cool, cool. And they're quite big. The males can grow up to about three, four hundred kilos. There it is. Whoa. The population is about 180 in the bay. But these guys, they were big males. Huge bonus to see dolphins on the way back. Gorgeous. Wow. That was so close. That was the closest dolphin I've ever seen. I'll get you back. Are you not going to fall in? You can see how big they are. Big boy. Wow. Micah. Wow. There's another one. That's incredible. The dolphins surfing on the front of the, the boat. That's unbelievable. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you, Richard. You got it. Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah, we made it. Oh, that was beautiful. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Yeah, the views wow. are stunning, right? Amazing, amazing. You got Rock Flathead, and then you got Alfonso, and you got John Dory. Wow. So we'll roast the Dory, we'll roast the Flathead, and this one we'll have raw. Awesome. Yeah. What did you say this? Uh, as as a... Rock flathead. Rock flathead? Yeah. So we have a fair few species in Australia. We have like rock, dusky, sand, tiger. But um, this is probably the one that most people eat in Victoria. Oh, right, right. The most common. Ooh. Lobster too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, southern rock lobster. Southern rock lobster, yep. Chef Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chip on tip? Chip on tip. Yeah. Oh, baking some. Oh, oh sourdough yeah. Nick. Uh, we'll see. We need. We need it. Oh. I need something. <laughs> sourdough Nick. Baking a loaf of sourdough. Beautiful. Yeah. Making fresh. Yeah. yeah. For you guys. Just for you guys. Good night. Thank you. Good. Me Nick. Perfect. So what do you want to do with Marty's oven? You want to finish the fish off with Marty's oven? Yep. Does it work? Good work. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it raw. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, oh, nice. salt and pepper. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of sashimi with that. Yes. The rest is probably better to cure in the fridge. Super fresh. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. That is an hour and fresh bluefin tuna. Look at that. One hour. Wow. Yeah. Keep it going. Hey guys, you need a hand? No, keep going, keep going. That's a huge <laughs> bottle of olive oil there. We need loads of that on there, so yes, more, 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 more. It's a big bottle of olive oil. More, I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> this is what you want. Are this we going to taste the fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it, that's good. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm done. <laughs> We'll go. Salt. We'll go some pepper, Dan. Oh my god. It might be a little bit heavy on the salt, yeah. but hey. Uh, 
Beautiful. Fresh fish, olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon juice. First time in bluefin tuna, you've got to eat the spinal cord. You've got to eat the, eat the juice out of the spinal cord. Jelly in there. If you stick your finger in there, and then that's it, dig it out. You want that jelly, but that's exactly what you want. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a ritual. It's a ritual when you catch a, when the you tuna. Catch when you yeah, catch you a tuna, eat, yeah, you got to eat the yeah, spinal cord yeah. jelly. Right out of the tail. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's just like it's taste. You taste the sea. Yeah, you taste the sea. Oh, that's that's so good. And it just kind of melts in your mouth. Oh man. Wow, the freshness. Are they all the same? Oyster? No. These ones here in Royal Miyagi. Oh, okay. These ones here are Wapango. So there's oh, nice. information on it here. So they're, they're rock. And I, I believe the Royals are rock as well. Oh, nice. But have a read through. All right. <laughs> oh. Briny, sweet, melts in your mouth. Just cooked on the barbecue. Wow, oh, I gotta try it. So here it is, here's the tuna that we caught. This one has just been seared. Oh. oh, whoa. Oh, that melts in your mouth. All oh, the flavor is unbelievable. That's, there's nothing on it. Oh, that's ultra fresh. Oh, that's outstanding. And here it is. This is the raw bluefin tuna sashimi. Just prepared in olive oil, salt and pepper, lemon juice. Beautiful. And again, a huge thank you to Richard for hosting us, to Nick and Tess, uh, to Theo and Maddie and Marty for all, for, I mean, for taking us, for generously taking us out on the boats to fishing for this really just incredible, incredible experience. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh wow. Mm. Oh, you don't need to chew. It melts. Oh, it's so smooth. It's pure. Just that's tuna butter. Oh man. The freshness, the quality, the taste. It is outstanding. Wow. Wow, that lobster. How are you gonna cook this lobster? Chef Gig. Oh, Chef Gig, yes. Chef Gig gonna cook the lobster? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, you know, that's why the fat's so yellow. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Fat is yellow. We're just gonna seal it, and then we're gonna pull it off, and we're gonna salt it, and we'll go back again. Okay. Yeah. And you were telling me that's a chuleta? A Galician. Yeah. Galician uh, way to cook beef. So they're yeah. like a, a, roughly a 10 year old dairy cow, and then they put them back on pasture for two years. Along with the seafood with the fish, yeah. a giant chuleta. chuleta oh, yeah. that's smoking away. That yellow fat smells incredible. Yes, uh, the lobster? lobster two ways. The lobster oh. two ways. 
The first way is uh, sashimi. Sashimi. Sashimi is because uh, the lobster meat is so sweet. And the uh, second way is the uh, curry lobster with the uh, uh, Western mixed Asians. Uh, butter, garlic, soy sauce, uh, black pepper, and wasabi oh. mixed together. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Chef Pong Tip, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a warm pot and it's a cold pot. Lots of dancing. Lobster. Lobster. Yeah. Some beautiful rock lobster. Yeah. Good. So, oh, yes. Wow. Sourdough. Sourdough. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. 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 Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yes. <laughs> the meal, the feast is almost ready. Almost everything is ready. The steak was almost the last thing. Actually, the lobsters are still coming. The fish are ready. The steak is ready. The vegetables are ready. The sun is just coming down in the afternoon. Oh, this is spectacular. This is gonna be an ultimate meal finale to this epic, epic day. I did not think I was going to eat. I just put it on the rock Cheers. 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 Cheers, everybody. Yes. Ooh, thank you all. Mm. Lunch has begun. That's the, that's the tuna collar. Oh. So good. Oh. Wow. Unbelievably meaty. Fresh. Sweet. Oh, wow. It's chuleta. Oh. Oh, that's the. That beef. Thank you. Oh. Oh wow, the beef is so flavorful. Mm. The fat, the salt, the rosemary. Just unbelievable flavor. Oh, that beef is incredible. Wasabi. Take a piece of the. We give you wasabi. Thank you, Chef Gig. Yeah. Oh, lobster and sashimi. Sword? Thank you. Oh. Lobster sashimi. Mm. 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 The sweetness, the freshness. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Is that with, with burrata? With cheese? Oh, nice. Okay. We got some fresh tomatoes. Mm. Oh, wow. Juicy. Sweet. Mm. Mm. I think my record is like 35. 35 something. Oh, this is the John Dory fish. <laughs> Silky smooth and texture. Cooked so it's a little bit raw. It remains juicy. It's beautiful. Really a beautiful fish. Mm. The carrots are incredible, yeah. Gotta try it. Thank you, Chef Gig. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Couple cup, Chef Gig. This is the, the rock flathead fish. That kind of like snake looking fish. Mm. Oh, it's soft man. white flesh, like it's quite textural. Silky. Yeah, silky. silky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, incredible. Mm. It's very good. Oh, so good. Yeah. Chef Gig's lobster over here. Oh, my. oh, oh. Uh, butter. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, Chef Gig. All right. The vertical lobster bite.
So sweet, the garlic butter. Oh, the firmness, the sweetness, the freshness. Oh, wow. Well, the bone. That's a dino bone. Oh, that just completely, like the fat just completely liquefies in your mouth. Oh, man, it's going to squirt in your face. <laughs> yeah, it squirts. <laughs> no, you get Give me more. Oh, Give me more. So fatty. One bite pass. One bite pass. Oh, that's so much fat. Oh, what are you going to Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Oh, Ying is the last. Yes, Ying. Ying. Yes. Okay. Okay, we got some. Huge wedges of lettuce salad here. Olive oil. Mm. Mm, mm. Really refreshing, really crisp, really fresh. Unbelievable meal. That was just an unbelievable day in Victoria, Australia. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Sorrento in Victoria, Australia. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.